that's how the pro everything is done here. Now the replication of the lambda genome. How the lambda, lambda genome replication is actually carried out. Now usually the replication of lambda genome uh, can be carried in two different ways. One is the theta mode of replication as you can see here in this picture. Another one is the rolling circle replication something like that which you can see in this picture. Right? Now in this case it is very important to switch between this theta mode of replication and then the rolling circle mode of replication. Now usually it's a, it's a general process of lambda uh, genome to carry out the theta mode of replication after, after taking entry inside the host cell. For example here using the cos site it forms a circular DNA. Now once it forms a circular DNA from the origin of replication site the transcription begins and it starts to produce the RNA. Right? Now as it is start producing RNAs, it is also being translated into a product called gene O product. Now the gene O that is present there, it is responsible for uh, helping in the theta mode of replication. So the gene O product will come and it will bind to a certain region of the DNA and it starts uh, to make a kind of theta like structure inside the DNA. So as it is making the theta like structure, via the process called theta mode of replication. Theta uh, replication is done. After the theta replication, it can uh, make it a copy of its own circular DNA. This is a general way of replication uh, of the lambda phage. But now, when it requires uh, to process all the genome inside the host uh, virus, in, inside the progeny virus, uh, to carry out the lytic phage, a lytic cycle, it needs to shift the replication scheme from rolling from this theta mode of replication to the rolling circle mode of replication right so theta to rolling circle rolling circle it for the lytic side lytic phase so for lytic phase it requires to shift from theta to rolling circle mode now in this case uh, once it, it is uh, duplicating its uh, circular dna then it later uses the GAM and, and other products like GAM inhibits the RECBC uh, protein. So as it is inhibiting the RECBC, finally it will uh, block the synthesis pathway via the theta mode. It will start the rolling circle mode of replication. Now as the rolling circle mode of usually what is going on, RECBC is uh, the important protein which is blocking the rolling circle mode of replication and it is allowing the theta mode of replication. Right Now as the GAM is expressing during this lytic phase, Due to the binding of crow, remember, due to the binding of crow here, it is, sorry, where is it? Due to the binding of crow, it is in, in enhancing the genes that are present in right hand side to be expressed more. And there is a gene called GAM that is present in this right hand side. So as it is expressing here, so this GAM will go, it will block uh, the effectivity of RECBC. So as it is blocking the activity of RECBC, it is telling that yes, you can go from theta mode to the rolling circle mode because previously reg BC was blocking the theta to rolling circle mode conversion. Now, as the reg BC is getting cleaved or it is getting blocked, now blocked by GAM, now it can convert itself into the rolling circle mode. So, rolling circle mode of trans, uh, trans replication goes on, and as it is going on, it is providing and creating more and more copies of the same gene. So, what it is providing.